Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about 802.11ax, also known as Wi-Fi 6, and why you should wait before you run out and buy that new Wi-Fi router with that capability. So before we start talking about Wi-Fi 6, let's go back in history and see where this whole thing got started. So Wi-Fi 1 was labeled 802.11b, and then Wi-Fi 2 became 802.11a, which is kind of strange because you figure they would have started off with the A and then go to the B, but the B came before the A. Then of course Wi-Fi 3 became 802.11g, then Wi-Fi 4 became 802.11g. N. And then Wi-Fi 5 was actually labeled 802.11ac. So the new Wi-Fi signal that will be taken over is Wi-Fi 6, and that is labeled 802.11ax. Now with each name change, of course, the Wi-Fi is capable of doing more stuff. Now the name for the new signal is actually called Wi-Fi 6, but of course you probably have some manufacturers that's going to label it 802.11ax. Now Wi-Fi 6 is a better name to understand and to recognize but I'm pretty sure there's going to be somebody out there that label it with the other name. So with this new Wi-Fi signal you're going to get better speed and better performance and it's better prepared for the future to handle all those thousands of devices that's going to be demanding the Wi-Fi data. So here are four key benefits of the new Wi-Fi 6. It will be able to handle more capacity so more devices will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi router with less issue and you're going to get better performance with those connected devices. You're going to get faster speed to and from devices and this new Wi-Fi 6 is going to have less battery drain on your devices. So Wi-Fi 6 is designed to handle a much larger crowd. So if you ever stayed in a hotel or you're in the airport and you notice the internet is real slow, well Wi-Fi 6 is going to help fix those issues. Now Wi-Fi 6 is not changing the band so you're still going to have the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band and it will be about 40% faster than Wi-Fi 5. So it should be able to handle speed up to 9.6 gigabits per second, which is three times the speed of Wi-Fi 5. So as we move more into doing online video streaming, and a lot of that streaming is 4K high resolution streams, and more people are playing games online, so Wi-Fi 6 is best suited to handle those kind of scenarios Plus, you won't have any slowdown of your other devices when you're streaming a high resolution movie on your TV and you're trying to do online gaming at the same time. Now the Wi-Fi 6 is going to have what you call target wake time, which is how the device is going to use less battery power. So the device is going to communicate to the router to let it know its wake and sleep times, which will use to actually reduce the battery drain on that external device. So how would you know if your device is capable of handling Wi-Fi 6? Well, if you have any devices that was built pretty much the summer of 2019 and before, there's a 99% chance that your device is not capable of handling Wi-Fi 6. So even if you run out and buy a new Wi-Fi router that has that capability, you're not going to get the full benefit out of it. Now, if you're looking for devices that has Wi-Fi capability, there's not much that you can find on the market now. Now, this is a new standard, so it's going to take a little while for the market to get populated with this new standard. So if that product is still labeled 802.11ac, then you know that's still Wi-Fi 5. So it has to be an AX or Wi-Fi 6. Now, do you really need to go out and buy a Wi-Fi 6 router? Currently, I would say no because if your equipment in your house, and that include everything, your TV, your phone, your fire stick, none of that stuff is actually running on Wi-Fi 6, especially if it's a year or two old because it doesn't really have that capability in it yet. Now there's a few products on the market right now that has Wi-Fi 6 capability in it, but it's not enough for you to actually change out your router because you're not gonna get the full benefit out of it. So if you were thinking about getting a Wi-Fi 6 router, might as well you pump the brakes and just forget about it for now. And then you gotta think, all the devices that you have in your home right now will have to switch out to that new Wi-Fi speed to get the benefit. Now places like the stadium and the airport and the mall and hotels can benefit from the new Wi-Fi 6. The person that's connected to the Wi-Fi 6 won't see that speed boost, but the Wi-Fi 6 can handle a better crowded area, so they would benefit more from it. And even a crowded office that has a lot of people that's using the Wi-Fi signal, 
they would benefit from the usage of it, but not the speed. So they'll still get the maximum speed of whatever Wi-Fi is built into their system, whether it be four or five, but they won't get the speed of the Wi-Fi six. They're going to have less issue connecting to that business Wi-Fi. So my final word is wait on Wi-Fi 6. Don't run out and buy a Wi-Fi 6 router because it's the latest and greatest. Because if you have no devices in your possession, that means inside your house and even your phone and your tablets, then you're not going to reap the benefit of it. You will just have a router that can handle more devices connected to it, but it's not going to increase the download speed that you're getting inside your house right now. Your online gaming is going to have the same performance unless you upgrade the Wi-Fi card that's in your computer. So until you start swapping out the device, that has Wi-Fi 6 capability built in, that's when you're going to really see the real benefit of Wi-Fi 6. So if you want to improve the Wi-Fi signal in your home, the best thing to do is get you a mesh router and they are still running on the Wi-Fi 5 signal. Although there's some mesh routers out there that's actually running on the Wi-Fi 6, I would recommend that you save the money and don't worry about that stuff right now until Wi-Fi 6 is built into more devices going into the future. All right, so I hope you have an understanding of why you should wait on the Wi-Fi 6. Now Wi-Fi 6 is going to become the standard because our home is more connected. We got smart fridge, we got smart stove, we got smart washer and dryer. So everything in our home is being connected to the internet. So Wi-Fi 6 is built to handle that load. So it will become the standard eventually. But right now is not the time to run out and buy a Wi-Fi 6 router because your home is not ready to take advantage of that capability. That time will come. So when people like Amazon come out with a Wi-Fi 6 Fire Stick, now it's time to buy. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If it was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.